Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you all the different gestures you can use on your Windows 11 trackpad. The Windows 11 trackpad, or touchpad as you may call it, is an amazing tool to navigate around your computer, but I don't think a lot of people know all the different ways you can use it to navigate and improve the way you use your PC. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the different ways to navigate using the trackpad and hopefully teach you some things you didn't know. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. If you wanna supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. If you do a single tap, this is gonna allow you to select on something like a document or the minimize, maximize windows, basically selecting anything on your PC. If you do a two finger tap, that is gonna do a right click and that's gonna bring up the right click menu. If you do a tap and then a drag, that's gonna allow you to select and highlight documents and things in front of you. And of course, if you tap on the bottom right hand corner of the trackpad, so this little section here, if you tap on that, that is also gonna do your traditional right click. Next thing you wanna look at is the scrolling and zooming with your two fingers. So you can use two fingers to scroll up and down a page, whether that page be your file explorer or a web browser or anything like that. This is gonna allow you to scroll through a document by using two fingers to scroll up and down. And you can also zoom into things like photos and websites by using the pinch to zoom. And on your home tab here or your file explorer, it's gonna change the view. Let's jump over to a website and we're gonna go pinch and zoom. And this is gonna let us zoom in and zoom out of that web page. It's really simple, just pinching and zooming, very similar to what you do on your phone. Now it gets into the more advanced options where you can use either the three finger and four finger gestures. On the three finger gesture, if you swipe up with three fingers, this is gonna show you the multi-view option and this shows you all the programs you have open on your computer. And if you select on that program, you can do a three finger swipe down and this is gonna bring you straight to your desktop. A three finger swipe to the left or the right is gonna help you quickly switch between applications. And this is really handy when you want, when you want to quickly jump between different applications. And that's just going to the left or the right with your three, three fingers. And then of course there are four finger gestures as well. The four finger and the th three finger gestures have very similar controls when it goes up and down. Four fingers up also shows you all the programs you have open. And four fingers down is gonna take you straight to your desktop. But if you go four fingers to the left or to the right, this is gonna allow you to swap between multiple desktops. And this makes it easier to jump from desktop to desktop, whereas the three finger gestures make it easier to jump from program to program. So that's really quite cool and quite powerful. But what I'm gonna show you now is how you can actually also customize the gestures of your three finger and four finger swipes as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over into our settings and we're gonna go into our touchpad or our trackpad settings. From here, we're gonna scroll down. So we're in Bluetooth and then we're in touchpad. We're gonna scroll down to where it says the advanced gestures, which is the third tab from the bottom under related settings. We're gonna select on advanced gestures. And then from here, you can actually configure different taps and different swipes to do shortcuts that you wanna make it. So if we select on say a single tap, that's gonna do things like open search with your three fingers. So right now, a three finger tap is gonna open our search. But maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want it to play or pause. Maybe you want it to be a mouse button or a shortcut button. If you choose shortcut button, you can actually then start recording the keyboard keys that you want it to press and it can do anything you want it to do. I'm going to put it back to open search. So when I tap three fingers, it's going to open my search. And then of course, you can configure your four finger taps as well. Right now, the four finger taps opens a notification center, but you can do the exact same thing here and you can customize what your single tap, your swipes to the left, to the right, up and down do, and you can customize it to suit the way you work. And there you have it. There are all the different ways you can use the trackpad gestures in Windows 11. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're gonna supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.